Why Thomas? Why are they going after one out of six? Because the left is racist, Tucker. They expect Clarence Thomas to think the way a black man should be in, 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 based on the color of his skin. And Clarence Thomas, for 30 years, 40 years, has refused to do that, and they want to destroy him. And that's what they've been doing and coming after him. And the bottom line is, Clarence Thomas doesn't care at all what they think. Now, I am convinced there is someone at Rebel HQ that finds it hilarious to make me watch Tucker Carlson videos. It's the only reason this can keep coming up. In today's video, we have Tucker Carlson and some other guy, Mark Paletta, I think his name is, telling us how left-wing black people are racist. That's right, we're the racist ones. Why? Because we call out Clarence Thomas. Oh, Uncle Clarence seems a bit racist to us, but apparently these two white men are gonna explain racism to black people and why black people are racist. Yeah, this is why I have so much respect for the writers at The Onion, for Michael Che and all the writers at Saturday Night Live, because how do you parody, honestly, how do you parody something as utterly ridiculous as Tucker Carlson and some white guy who's a friend of Clarence Thomas calling the left racist? Hilarious. It's just so funny though, I mean, if you compare the attitudes of the average black guy in America to the average white liberal in America on abortion, the black guy's way more opposed to abortion than the average white liberal. So why does Clarence Thomas have to have the same views as an NPR listener? And that's what he's been saying for 40 years, and it's the left demands it, and they will, they will go after him. But it is a great day for the Constitution, uh, you know, with, with, with Roe being overturned, with, with uh, the Second Amendment being strengthened, consistent with the Constitution, with religious liberties today coming down, uh, consistent with the Constitution. And it's all aligning with where Clarence Thomas has been for the past 30 years. So. Tucker Carlson is now speaking for the average black man, saying the average black man is in favor of the ban on abortion more so than an NPR liberal. By the way, I like him shouting out NPR liberals because I happen to be a liberal who often works for NPR. And when Tucker Carlson is mad at you, you know you're doing something right. So Tucker, you're speaking for the average black man. Somehow, I don't think you've ever met a black man, okay? Here's some news for black people, Tucker, since we're all one group and you want to talk to us. We do not support killing black kids for wearing hoodies. We do not support Blue Lives Matter. Are you with me on this, Tucker? Hey, here's another thing. We're not afraid of there being a shortage of white people. Yeah, your replacement theory doesn't impress us. We're not too worried about it. Um, black Lives Matter? Well, to us, they do, Tuck. Is any of this getting through to you? I know you're speaking for the average black man. I'm just not sure which one you're speaking for. Must be that guy who hangs out at Trump rallies. Is that your average black guy, Tucker? No need to worry. Keep speaking out, because here's something else the average black person doesn't do. Watch Tucker Carlson. The only reason Tucker and his boy Mark can recognize racism is they are a couple of racists. Listen, let me tell you what black people see, and I'm, I'm not even going to speak for all black people anymore. I'm going to speak for myself. This is the problem with Clarence Thomas, and this is what we see. This is what I see. It's that thing where a black person wants to please white people so badly that he discriminates against black people. Or in the case of Clarence Thomas, he discriminates against everyone who isn't white, whether it be a woman or a minority or an immigrant or anybody else. Maybe, maybe someone who doesn't want to get shot on a New York subway. That's another group that Clarence isn't too crazy about. So we do recognize you, Clarence. We see you for what you are. And this overseer mentality has existed in the black community for far too long. You think you made it, Clarence, but remember your sexual harassment suit? Suddenly you were mad because you were being treated like a black person. Yeah, Clarence, we're treated like black people all the time, but this isn't about black people. This is about women and your treatment of women your dis is, is horrific and disgraceful and definitely discriminatory. So, Tucker, let me explain it to you in a way perhaps you can understand. What black people are doing to Clarence Thomas is what you and your friends did to Ketanji Brown Jackson. We're holding a black person to a higher standard. That's right. You remember Ketanji when you held her to a higher standard than the drunk or the handmaiden? And by the way, we do complain about the other Supreme Court justices. That's why I refer to him as the drunk and the handmaiden. But anyway, we're going to hold Clarence to a higher standard. Why? Because he's black. 
and he should understand what discrimination is because as a black man, I promise you, at some point in his life and career, he was discriminated against. And here's some more news for you, Clarence. Those same biblical arguments, those twisted biblical arguments that they use to, to use state money to support religious schools or, or this fake religious anti-abortion thing they're using, yeah, Guess what, Clarence? They also used it against black men to make them less than human so that they couldn't look at white women, much less marry one. That's right, Clarence. You want to revisit all these decisions? Why don't you talk about revisiting Loving vs. Virginia? Yeah, you remember, the one that allowed interracial marriage. They look at you as less than human, Clarence. We only look at you as an embarrassment.